I, I just read the part of the statement where she was like, you know, this respect or standard that I have for women that I feel like they are owed. And I was like, where was that respect when you tried to assault me? You know what I'm saying? So there are clear things that she stated in that in her statement that I was just like, there's proof time and time again of you not living by by what you or yeah, practicing what you preach in a sense. So it, it's just it's disheartening and, and quite disgusting actually to just see somebody completely deny every our experience and everything that we went through. We made multiple attempts uh, to kind of rectify things and hopefully change things, you know, moving forward. But every time there was an attempt to make something better, something got worse in regards to just the responses that we would get from her management team and her and the meetings that we would have. Every single time something was brought up, we always had a meeting, but every time it got more and more intense. Um, and I know my last meeting essentially led to me being fired, you know, days later. The damage is kind of already done, but at least acknowledge and take accountability for not only the hurt that you caused, but for unfortunately the system that you enabled, the system that you were enforcing because it is wrong. So to excuse it as, oh, this is just how things are in the industry. This is industry standard. Sorry. The fact that I know you guys' names, the fact that I speak to y'all, even when a lot of times she wouldn't speak to us, it's almost like, oh, well, this is a standard, so it's okay for me to not treat you guys as humans and to not um, create a safe work environment for, yeah. for you mm -hmm. guys. So hopefully they see this and they'll want to move forward and do better.